welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a spring one. It's a really simple one. And I don't think I've ever done a video on how to create a little dogwood or a cherry blossom tree in the background. So uh, that's our project for this week. I'm gonna show you how to put this together. Super, super easy to do. And actually, this composition only takes four stamps. So even better. So we're gonna need a few things. In the branches set, we're gonna use this one right here. Uh, in the foliage set two, so this little leaf right here. In foliage set one, so we're gonna use this tiny little leaf right here for the background. And then in the bench set, uh, we're gonna use this one, showing the back side of the fence. So we are ready to get started. So let's go ahead and ink our branch. And we're gonna ink this in two colors. So we're gonna start out with the sepia. Just like this, ink that whole thing. And then we're gonna come back over it again with the pine green. So two colors on this. And then I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm just gonna take out the middle. So we're, gonna, we're going to create these trees and they're pretty bright, so they have a, a bright pink color and we don't need a lot of these branches. And you can see they're pretty concentrated in here. So we're just gonna remove the middle section. And we're just gonna stamp the tree in like this. Uh, maybe one more over to the side and then huff on it and maybe another one right over here. Okay, so that takes care of that part. So let's go on now and add the little leaves to our little uh, blooms and leaves to the tree. So I'm going to use uh, the number 20 magenta and the number 15 olive green. And this tiny little leaf, I'm just going to do it in two, two sections. So top section and bottom section. So the top part, we're gonna create the little blooms and the bottom part, the stems. So just think about it uh, that way, just half and half. So two colors. And then before you stamp it, uh, stamp it off. So we don't want that too, we don't want the color to be too dark and intense. These are light little blossoms. And so we want just that soft color. So stamp it off uh, as soon as you ink it. Stamp it off one time and then go back in and create your, your little blossoms. And just get these in here a bunch of times. We wanna see those light colors as well as the dark. So I'm gonna ink this again. Top and the bottom. And I'm going to stamp it off and then do some more up in here. And repeat that process again until I have filled up these trees with blossoms. So this is a good place up in here. And as you get outside of the tree, uh, make sure that's the lighter area. So you don't want to start with a dark impression right here on the outside of the tree. You want to keep those darker areas to the inside. and then work your way out. So really, really light in this area. So let's go on to the next part. That would be the tree on the right side. So I'm gonna do the same thing again, so I'm stamping it off. And I'm really just getting that color in there a bunch of times. It doesn't, you know, there's no specific pattern really that you have to kind of um, work through uh, as far as st stamping in a circle or anything like that. It's just a matter of getting it in there a bunch of times so that we can see that light to dark. Okay, looks good. Gonna stamp it off. And I think we're getting close to being done with our trees. I'm just gonna add a few more of just the pink. And again, I'm gonna stamp it off again, uh, just to the center of this little tree. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add water to that. So dip your brush, pinch it off, and just start with a pink and just dab. So these are tiny, tiny little lines, so you don't wanna get too much water on here. We don't wanna lose the uh, definition of the of the stamp so the integrity of the stamp but we want to soften all the lines and 
then just kind of work your way around. It's okay if you get uh, water and blend in some of these branches in the trees, that's okay. We're gonna get some of that color in here too. But we also want to mix a color. We don't just want pink. So when you're looking at a tree out in the field, you can see a lot of the colors in it. The browns and the greens are still coming through. So we want to be able to show that. And, you know, drag this color to the outside. So you don't want to see a harsh uh, pink outline against the sky. You want to see that soft, soft pink that's fading out into the background. So really, really blend this color out. And let's go back in now with the green. So we're just gonna to touch all these little green areas now. Just kind of blend it all together. So fun. And you could, you could change this up and you could do a fall tree just like this. Use your reds and oranges and browns and uh, put together a tree just exactly like this. So let's go on to the next one now. And just hit all the pink areas first. And you can see how uh, it really makes a difference to keep the concentrated areas of color to the center. So the first impression, so when you stamp it the first time, try to keep that to the center of the tree. That's where it's gonna be the darkest. And just work your way out. And then keep those really, really soft, soft areas for the edge, the edge of the tree as it fades out into the sky. And just make sure your hand is flat on the table. Make sure you're not stabbing. Uh, you're just carefully blending. So fun. And they, they really do look like little watercolor trees. And you know, just one little tree with a little flower or a little hill behind it makes the cutest card. You know, they don't have to be overdone and super elaborate. It could be really simple. Okay, so you can see I'm really just fading this color out into the background. And now I'm getting the green. And it looks like we are about finished with these little trees. They look pretty good. And I'm just gonna run my, my brush over uh, these little tree trunks. Uh, just to pull that color out of the lines. We don't want them to be too harsh and dark. And you know, uh, don't be afraid to add a little sepia to your palette and change the shape of them a little bit. So that just means to use the very tip and just put a few more little uh, branches in like this. We don't want these to look identical and it's easy to change them up a little bit. And just, you know, put a few of these little branches in, you know, especially in the background. Uh, just do it with your brush. Uh, super easy, just like that. And now they don't look uh, identical. Okay, that looks good. So let's go on to the next step. And we're gonna put some background in. And it's really, really easy to do this. We're just gonna brush it in uh, with our brush. We're gonna mix some green onto the palette. This is the pine green. And this is the olive green. So we're gonna mix those two together. Just add some water and kind of mix this up. Just like that. And we're just gonna make a little triangle on each side. So start about halfway up and just drag this over to about here and bring that color back. Uh, try to stay away from the little tree trunks. We don't want that to bleed out. So just like that. And we're gonna do another one on the other side. So same idea. And we're just gonna make two triangles just like that. And we've created a path right in the center. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this one around. So we're just gonna create this little area here and we're gonna bring this around with our brush. And this one too, we're gonna to take this little triangle and now we're gonna bring it around also. So just like this. Don't stress over stuff like this. This is not a big thing to do. And one more over here. So we're gonna add another little triangle right in here. 
And you can see we've kind of created this little uh, illusion of a pathway that's kind of going around, uh, just like this. And now we're gonna take some really, really light color. And that just means we're gonna really wash out this, uh, this color that's on the palette. So very, very light. And we're gonna brush in a little bit into the background. Just a line of it behind our trees. So very, very light. I hope you can see that on, on the video, but very light back in the background. Okay, and I'm going to add some uh, sky color in here now too. This is the number 100, so this is sapphire. And I'm just gonna add a little purple to it. This is the lavender, or the, uh, the violet, so the number eight. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to it just to kind of make this color a little cooler. We've got a lot of pink in the trees, so we wanna kind of make our sky um, a little more purple. So let's just brush this color in now into the background. Uh, just the idea of it, remember. So we're not gonna stress out about this. Just put a little of this blue sky in the background, super cute. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead now and let me move, my, move this up so you can see a little better. So let's go ahead now and add our foliage into the background. So as soon as that's dry, make sure it's dry. Uh, I'm just gonna cover those little trees up. So I'm using, this is from Post-It. It's just a uh, masking tape. This is available at Staples or any of your office supply places. And I'm just going to cover up these little trees just so I don't stand over the top of them. So just like that. I'm gonna take this, this little stamp, so this is a tiny foliage, really a small leaf, it's for the background, that's what it's for. And I'm gonna use a light color. So this is number 32, Laurel Green, and I'm just gonna ink the top of this. And I'm gonna ink it kind of in a bow. So a bow, by that I mean a curved line, so not straight across, let me show you again. So not straight across like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little arch in here and then ink the top. So I'm just gonna stamp it right up in here. I'm gonna do it again. Over here and over here. So just a little bit in the background, just to give us an idea of that foliage, that row of brushy uh, trees in the background. And just blend it out. Just blend it all out. This is going to be very light. Just the idea of things, remember that. So now we can take this off. I can see that little row of foliage back in the back. We can add a little more green to it back in here. And I'm just taking the green that's right on my palette. So I'm gonna put a little darker line under here. And just blend this out a little bit in the background. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some uh, African Violet to my palette. And I'm just gonna make a, you know, a little squiggly pattern underneath the trees. So uh, don't let this freak you out. Just make some little squiggly lines under here. We're just creating a little shadow under the trees. Just like that. And then back in here, let's add just a little bit of color back in here as this little path comes around. That looks pretty good. And so let's go ahead and add our little bench into the front and we will be about finished with this project. So I'm going to use my positioner. So my little L bar and uh, make sure that I'm positioning this in the right place. So I'll place that into the corner and I'm going to ink this in the sepia. And 
this should nest right into the corner. So I've stamped it onto my little acrylic plate and I think right there is the perfect spot. So I will place this back and remove this and I'm gonna ink it again because I wanna make sure that this is really dark. So I'm just gonna go over it one more time. Stamp that right in there like that. And I, I'm gonna add a little water to it. Just follow the lines, uh, just to make sure that it's really, really dark. And then I'm also going to take my uh, sepia, the fine tip, and really darken the seat. And under here where these little legs attach, really want to see that dark. And let's get some of this darker color from our palette. So this is that dark, dark green. And we're going to just put a little shadow under here. So just like that. And we are about finished with this painting. So much fun and so easy to do. Try this one, you're gonna love doing this one. Uh, and then put it on a card or put it in a frame and give it away to someone. You're gonna make their day. So happy spring to you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.